Hey, my name is Basha and in this video someone else is going to challenge me to make something specific and that person is going to be Prehje from Estona Metalsmithing. If you haven't seen her channel yet, you have got to go over there and check out all of the fantastic tutorials that she shares and she's amazing and I'm sure you will absolutely love it. So make sure you check out her channel and today well, she actually is going to pop in for a second and tell me what my challenge will be. So, Brechje, let's hear from you. Hi, my name is Brechje and I'm really happy to pop in here on Basia's channel because I have been watching her videos for quite some time. I really love the way how she presents everything and uh, you can just tell by her videos that she's a very nice and kind person. So we have been in touch and we have been talking. We did decide on a theme, but there are two things Things that I can add and uh, one of those things is that I am going to add that it not only should be a miniature I want it to be a miniature animal and I am going to add uh, one extra hard part and that is that I would love to see you try uh, to make a moving part somewhere on the animal so uh, I hope you will enjoy this Basia and that I didn't scare you off here with this first challenge because I think it would be awesome uh, just to play around and let people see how much fun metal smithing can be thank you so much for tuning in and uh, Basia you can take it from here all right let's design something I have my sketchbook right over here let me open it what could be the moving part? Well, the tail could be a moving part, but because it is quite obvious, I want something else to be moving. Maybe the animal could be in something? Give me a second. <laughs> I think I am happy. So the design I decided to go for will be something from fantasy realm. The moving part probably won't be on the actual animal, but it will be connected to the entire design. <laughs> I decided to go for an owl and she is receiving letters and she is in her little cage over here but the door is always open so she can come and go as she pleases. Right, let's get started. For materials I'm going to use brass and sterling silver sheet and also sterling silver wire and I also found a really cute shape of an owl on Canva so I'm gonna use that for sewing. So I've planned all of the elements in my sketchbook over here. So now I'm going to prepare all of these shapes. I'm starting by cutting out the bottom part of the cage with a disc cutter. I'm using an oval shape because I decided to go for the half cage after all. I will now mark and cut the oval in half with the jeweler's saw. And then I need to sand the edge, make sure it's even and smooth. I'm checking how tall the cage will need to be. Now I will measure how large the back plate needs to be and I will cut it out. I must admit that right now I'm not entirely sure how to place the wires on the back plate. Turns out that making half cage is actually more <laughs> difficult than making like 3D entire cage, but that should be okay. First I need to cut this out, out of my <laughs> brass sheet. <laughs> such a massive. I'm going to cut out a smaller chunk first because this is going to be ridiculous. There we go. <laughs> this is going to be much easier to work with. And now I have all elements ready for sewing. I'm also going to cut out the bottom part of this brass wire for the lower part of the cage.
all elements are ready now. I need to sand them and prepare for soldering. Next step is to shape the wire. I'm using half round pliers first to give it a slightly round shape. Then I'm using the disc cutting mandrel to give it the shape that is exactly the same as the oval I will need it to fit. Time to add some details onto the owl. I'm doing it before soldering and while the sticker is still on, so I have reference for my lines. I will add proper marks after everything is soldered together. I've soldered the owl <laughs> now and it's on the back plate which I also need to cut out. Once I did that I will start soldering the cage together <laughs> and honestly I don't know you guys I don't know exactly how to do that. <laughs> I decided to solder the bottom of the cage first and then I will probably just solder the back blade onto it. So I will have the construction and then I will solder wires on it and shape them subsequently. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Should I shape that first? I've never done a cage before and I've never done half of the cage either. So we'll see. I am fitting all of the elements together right now. I was just checking the fit for the owl and the little thingy that she sits on and I decided to add additional step on the back over here just to elevate it a little more and have this dimensional effect. I am now soldering the base with the back plate. Looks like they fit together nicely. I'm adding flux and silver solder. Time to add proper details to the owl. For that, I'm using various burr attachments and a rotary tool. Let's solder everything together now. Quenching is one of my favorite parts. And that's how it looks like so far. What do you think? I'm very happy with the effect, but <laughs> now's the time to shape the wire and the hard part is about to start. I need to be able to clean the metal after the soldering, so I need to have access under the wire. That's why I am cleaning it right now so that I have less to do after wires have been soldered on. I realized that I need to make and solder the letters first before I solder the cage on. So let's go and do that now.
last letter will hang on this chain and it can be placed inside of the cage or taken out. Okay, now is the time to shape and solder the wires. I'm a bit nervous. I'm still not entirely sure how to do it. <laughs> I need to leave some space to be able to clean the metal inside. I made a little mock-up to plan the placement of the wires. And guys, I know I am probably taking a longer and more difficult way. There has to be an easier way to do it. <laughs> but honestly, at this point, I just went for this one. Anyway, I removed the letter for now as it was in the way. I will show you how I soldered all of the wires now. Everything is soldered together, so now it's time to clean, sand and polish. Some spots were very hard to reach, but I managed. It's not too bad. I will admit, this was a proper challenge. Everything went pretty well until last two soldering steps when some things didn't go the way I planned, but that's okay. They added to the texture of the cage. I guess old cages usually have marks and some damage on them. <laughs> so I am still very happy with it. Making a whole cage would have been much easier actually. So. I probably overcomplicated things for myself, but hey, it was a challenge after all. And a massive thank you to Brechia for challenging me. And thank you all for watching. Right, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much, Brechia, for this challenge. I would love to do another one. Guys, check out Brechia's video. It will be linked below. And check out her channel. She's marvelous. And thank you so much for tuning in today. I will see you again soon. Bye.